Hello, this is Robert Stevenson making another um, video about my latest map. So what we have this time is a, well, it's quite a large map. The scale is really quite high, which is good and bad. You know, the bigger it is, the longer it takes to get around, but the more grand it seems. And the map's actually quite big in terms of its download, compared to the others anyway. It's something like 14 megs, so it's not that big. But um, I haven't used, I have, sorry, I have used a noise algorithm on this one. So there's a lot more interesting terrain in it rather than just what I've jumbled together by smashing it about with my, uh, my, my tools. So the terrain's a lot more interesting and there's some interesting things in it. So that's good. It's um, more of a fantasy map. So we have, um, Lots of blues, uh, pretty much mainly blues, pretty much all blue, um, and mushrooms and and just nice pretty things. Um, one thing there's no, one thing I'd like to see is uh, the ability to change the color of some of the objects because there is no grass that works with any color ground apart from certain color greens. So if you use a blue or a red, or a yellow, or anything like this, you will not find any, um, you'll not find any foliage, well, any grass that fits that. So that's a problem. Uh, it's, it's an issue anyway, so it means I can't have any grass down here, which is a bit of a shame, but um, it'll be okay. I'm just wandering around the edge of this map at the moment and kind of looking at the odd thing and not really showing off what the main what, what the actual the map is focused on right now because I'm gonna go leave that minute so we have a load of uh, a load of pathways and such around the edge of this map so they are lots of lots of tiles that kind of make roadways around and there is a little bit like a um, like a roller coaster kind of thing where paths make it just pathing making up your your route way around so it started on one over there and uh, there's another one up the top and these connect together a load of um, a load of the terrain around so it's quite good at night time this place looks quite good because the uh, the mushrooms uh, light up and such so that's cool uh, and then we've got another another pathway leading around the outside and that sort of thing which is good but um, I've walked up here because I should probably show off the main focal point of the map now which is over here maybe I'll see it but there we go so this is uh, this is kind of the the big reveal of this map and it's oh I'm on the wrong thing let's get rid of that and make actually let's make it day as well because it looks nice in the day it looks nice at night but let's make it day so this map is centered by this huge structure in the middle which is completely shrouded by cloud but that's fine um, so it's um, I, w I made a an interesting terrain for once rather than quite a dull terrain in fact I am going to turn off the clouds because they are slowing the game down and they're quite annoying actually so I'll turn them back on when I want it to look pretty again so I made a quite an interesting um, landscape this time with some with um, a big structure rather than making the structure out of the terrain and then kind of adding a little bit else onto it to make it look like it's sat on some something organic. So there is a lot more to explore on this map in terms of um, terrain itself. There's lots of nooks and crannies and things things to fly off and that sort of thing and little caves and all sorts of stuff like that there's lots and lots of little nooks like nooks and crannies and such which I already said but never mind um, most of the foliage and everything is blue though so I think I went overboard on the trees and the blue um, which is uh, uh, it, it's okay it's I'm, I'm not as happy with it but it's still pretty good and there there are some nice nice points in it so we've got this big these these roads that kind of connect things together which are quite nice um, and I said these will be very much much easier once uh, copy and paste comes in but right now it's still not 
that bad. You just need to know how to do them. And that's fine. Um, we've got another secondary little tower. Um, just to kind of show this one off, just so that when you're standing at certain points, you get a nice kind of duality going on. Um, it's It just kind of links the place together a bit and just having an extra tower is is quite a good thing. Um, this uh, this was actually surprisingly easy to make. I, I made a five second sketch or something in my sketch pad and went, ah, oh, that's a basic shape I want, and then just kind of, kind of started building, and it worked out fine. And then it's just a matter of adorning it with a load of extra stuff and just going, oh, this is, you know, this bit's working quite well, what would work with that, and then you shove that on it, and then you just add more and more onto it and it just builds up and you just it's just more and more filigree and bits and bobs and eventually it ends up looking quite grand uh, which I'm quite happy about so it's actually got its own style to it so rather than using um, the in-game assets uh, though it's made entirely of in-game assets obviously but um, rather than using the pre-made um, Saborian uh, ruins and stuff I've made my own style by using uh, bits of other things and just kind of gelling them all together and like seeing what happens really. Uh, the flea, free the flea throwing, the free flowing roads are quite good. I was considering putting in support for them, but actually I kind of like them as they are. And also I'd have to add support to this middle one as well. These uh, um, kind of the, these big kind of bits to the the central structure. Um, hmm? legs. legs, legs will do. Ah, that's all right. Um, I don't know. They're kind of like th it's sort of the idea was that they're kind of almost like a mining, like mining equipment or something. But it's also really grand kind of structure. You can imagine as if this was firing some huge laser down into the ground, where actually there's just some mushroomy things at the bottom. But you can imagine if like this hole could fire a big laser out the bottom of it, and it could drill into this thing. Just, just from the fact that it's got uh, like these legs, whatever, kind of could be supplying it with something and like the rest of its support and that sort of thing. But it's fine. It's 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 meant to be nondescript. It's meant to just be grand and interesting and um, open to interpretation. So whatever, you, however you look at this, that's what it is. It's fine. Um, the landscape. Oh. So yeah, the 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 color is good. Like I said, there's too many trees and that sort of thing. I've gone overboard on the mushrooms as well. Um, the the it's it's not got as much variation in, in it as I would like. Um, just because I went down one style and kind of stuck with it, um, which again is is good and bad. I mean. There's lots of views that you can get as you wander around, so it's not so it's not so bad. It's not like the maze in that it has to have a load of different areas because it you've got a load of walls to look at and such that if you weren't to put in different colours and such, you would have very little to look at. Whereas here, there are grand vistas to look across. So even though everything's around the same colour, it's not as important that there is that many different colours because there's variation just from the directions that you look and so on. It's, it's not as bad. And there's there's little bits. There's this tunnel which is quite nice and that leads out and gives you another view of the uh, thing. I'm just letting the day go by because it actually looks really nice at night and all the glowing uh, all the glowing mushrooms are good. That brings me on to a point actually. One thing that I would absolutely adore to see in this and I think it is really necessary is some kind of light source that you can add to the uh, the world. I think it's it seems a really important point right now because the only light that you get from this is during the day it's the sun and at night you have the moonlight and that's nice but if you have a big bunch of caves and stuff underground they are in permanent darkness there is nothing you can do to light them up um, which means that if you had a civilization underground that you were kind of building you, you don't have any candles you don't have any torches or lanterns or gas lamps all of these things would be amazing additions to the game um, and it would allow you to just kind of like pick out things as well you'd be able to kind of um, lead somebody with lanterns or you could 
uh, or candles or something. You, you could make Hogwarts. You could have floating candles up in the air and do that, something like that. Or you could um, kind of... Uh, you could highlight things that you want to stand out by just putting a light on them, or you could have a, a light, floodlight kind of thing. But anything that's kind of more contextual, like like a lantern or something, would just would be fine. And these these are nice. Like the oh, I've just dropped myself in. Like the mushrooms are nice, but they don't give out light. They just glow, and there's a big difference. Like these, like the the ground here is no lighter than it is like over here, for instance. There's no difference. Um, so they actually look, a, yeah, they, they, they look good, but more's needed, more is needed. And, and these are things I'm sure will be addressed eventually. Now, one bugbear I have with this one, unfortunately, and why it's stressed me out a little bit is that there are things that I have not been able to remove. Um, I have had to deal with bugs and stuff in this and some that I haven't been able to get rid of. So these floating islands come back. I cannot get rid of them. They, I delete them, I replace them with things, and they come back. Uh, one which was particularly obnoxious, I had to just turn into a little floating island and put stuff on it and pretend I want it there, whereas I don't, I don't actually want anything floating in this. Um, but I've had to kind of compromise. And you can see with this one over here, it should be... Oh no, no, it isn't actually buggy anymore. It doesn't have a hole in it. But I can't get rid of them. They just come back. And I don't want to have to make them bigger either. It's quite annoying. I'll show you what happens. Um, you, you extend it and stuff like this happens. It has no bearing on what's there at all. It's just stuff. It's, it, it doesn't make sense. Like, this isn't growing, but it's adding new stuff to it. It's a little disappointing, but it's it's something that I think is already being fixed in the next patch, so it's fine. It's it's something to do with um, tears appearing, like seams, and it like even if you fix the seam. So I, I I spent like an hour and a half or something deleting them, make it like deleting uh, what was it? Yeah, just making um, making them bigger, fixing all the seams, deleting them down, fixing the seams, removing orphans, fi orphans, fixing the seams, and they still come back. And it was really annoying. Um, so they're just kind of there now. Hopefully they don't look buggy, like the stuff like these under the, under the island. Oh, there you go. There's one. I can't do anything about these. They're just here. Um, hopefully, when the next patch comes out, I'll be able to load this into it, delete these, and have them go permanently because at the moment it's a bit it's, it, I'm, I'm not so happy with the way that's happened but never mind never mind I said it's something that will be fixed or has already been fixed and I haven't seen the benefits of it yet right um, what's next I have a bit of a playthrough I guess actually I'm going to turn the clouds back on because although they're obnoxious and stuff they make it they do make the game look quite nice and it does slow the game down as well. This is a large map, so the um, I think due to the view distance and just how much stuff there is in the uh, how much stuff is going on, my computer starts to have trouble with it. But uh, it's okay. Um, what else? Actually, it's not that complicated of a map, really. Um, the structure was interesting to put together. You can see all the parts that I used for it. There's nothing particularly special about it. It's just the configuration was quite is quite interesting. Um, there's things used in interesting ways. I hope um, it's quite nice to explore. It's actually be you can actually climb it and stuff as well. I was just kind of going for as for something that was good to. Uh, um, kind of look at, but actually the, it, it kind of works. Um, don't go splat. Oh no, I went splat. Oh dear. How, how very embarrassing. Um, yeah, it is perfectly climbable. Um, it requires a lot of swinging, um, and this, this thing is actually really quite big. Uh, bigger than I thought, in fact, but that just adds to the grandeur. It's a real pain getting screenshots of it, though, because it's so, it's so noxiously big that you can't... Uh, you can't easily get the whole thing on screen and whatever you're looking at, whatever. But it's okay. So you can kind of swing yourself around. And it pulls this up entirely, I'm sure. Um, and and you can you can just gain height, or or miss. No. Oh well, it's fine. Um, 
but yeah, it's perfectly climbable, which is good. Uh, that's kind of what you want. There's uh, no issue there. And it does look quite good from the top, which is nice. That's what you want, really. Like the view, it's another reason for putting the um, the other tower in. Is if you climb this one, you then have a different tower to look at, which is good. Uh, let's try and get around here. Get ourselves up higher. There we go. Oh, I I can climb. I can smash myself into walls, but I can climb. You're. Uh, there we go. I'm up. Um. Yeah, everything's just it, it's it's just a matter of following patterns for this. So you just make multiple copies of the same thing and arrange it in such a way that uh, oh, how can I get to the top? In such a way that it looks pleasing. Really, there's no real special key to this. I don't think. Ah, oh, so close. I can get it this time. Ah, oh well, whatever. I pretty much made it. That's fine. So yeah, uh, apart from that, there's not actually that much to talk about on this map. It's, it's it just looks quite pretty. Um, clouds clouds make it look quite nice of a distance. There's too many mushrooms. Um, it's quite blue. Yeah, <laughs> um, I've already talked about uh, some of the issues I had. So uh, yeah. Um, I think it's going to be a little while before I get to make another map, unfortunately. Um, it's impo it's actually impossible for me to work after work on these. Um, I'm a games tester at the moment, and it requires a lot of thought and and kind of logical thinking and stuff. And although it's a great, it's a great little job to have, um, it is impossible to do anything creative after it because my brain is shot. Um, so I can only really work at weekends, and the next couple of weekends I'm busy, so unfortunately I think this is the last one for a, a couple of weeks. Um, which is a shame, because I really do enjoy working on these, but uh, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I think, I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, thank you for watching my video. Uh, I do hope these are kind of exciting people, because it, it's, like I said, it's a really nice program. Um, I want to see more more cool stuff from the uh, from the community and such. And uh, yeah, there's a lot you can do with it. If when you when you actually consider the program beyond just what can I throw together in an hour or two, which is fun. It's really fun to do that. Um, when you actually have a big project that you work on for, I don't know. I think this took me about 15 hours. I think they take about that much time total and most like the the structure to like an hour or something most of this was placing all of these uh, all these pathways and then changing the size of all these mushrooms oh actually no no that's a really good point um, one thing that I really do want in the game um, is the ability to choose a multiply a size multiplier on things so you have a random scale but I want a multiplier, so something that just says I want everything I place to be five times bigger than it's actually meant to be, and then I can just go plunk, 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 and get all the things that I need of the right size. Because when I'm placing, what, how many trees? Like a hundred trees, all wanting to be two to three times bigger than the normal size. I don't want to have to click on them all separately. <laughs> oh, and, and mushrooms, like these mushrooms, they don't seem that big. I mean. They're big mushrooms, but like this, they're not, you know, they're, they're not that crazy or anything. Um, but if I were to, oh, what the heck, um, if I place down the original mushroom size here, that's the difference. Like, like the amount of time it takes to make the, like, I don't know, a couple of hundred of these to these sizes is a long time, and when there's a lot of map to cover, I need quite a few of them. Um, yeah, so doing all that individually is not so great. If I could have a a multiplier, that'd be amazing. That would save me more time than the copy paste. Seriously, because the copy paste doesn't actually help with this. Um, if I 
place down a five times mushroom, I would still have to control C, control V, move it, and then, um, what is it, align to surface or drop down or whatever it is that's coming in the next patch? It still wouldn't save that much time. I would much rather have a multiplier. That would be much better. Copy and paste will save a lot of time because that will help with, um, not with curves, but with um, stuff like, um, do, 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 do. well, once I've made a curve, it would make doing the other um, curves instant, because I just have to copy and paste it round. It would make building a structure like this a lot easier, and it would make, um, you know, all these pathways and stuff easier. But copy and paste doesn't really help that much when it comes to um, making a big scattered map. Um, I don't trust the mass place because then, like as it is, I can't place things of a larger size with the mass. Um, what is it? Is it just called mass place? Yeah, it is called mass place. Um, if I use mass place on small mushrooms, it will place a load of things in. It will place a load of things that I can't see, and then I won't be able to find them to increase the size, which will just make it messier. So for something precise like this, rather than just making something quickly doesn't help um, but the multiplier would so that's that's something I would really like to see I should probably post on the forums or something but I'm lazy and I'm, I make these videos instead which are less lazy actually to be fair this is less lazy than posting on the uh, forum so no I don't feel that I don't feel that uh, regretful about it anyway right um, I think that is it now so I will say goodbye thank you again for coming to this to this video uh, for downloading the map and that sort of thing um, and I shall see you in another one soon. Um, goodbye.